Barnes and Leslie, you know, I know we blew it right into sleaze and kind of blew past the good mornings, but I wanted to stop yeah. down for a second. We haven't seen you. We have a sleaze commitment to keep it at 7.05-ish. So I like to, you know, uphold that. People need their sleaze. So, wait, I have to ask you, where the heck were you? Were you like you were in the jungle or something? Oh, Where'd yeah. you go? I was at Naviva. Oh, oh in that's Mexico. where you were. Yeah, the Four Seasons property, Naviva. We've been off, you know, we took off Friday and Monday and Tuesday because you had your big award show. So I used that as a reason to go in the jungle. Well, it's funny because I, I only got to talk to you once and I, and you said you were like floating down the river with a rum drink. Yeah. I was like, I tried oh, thanks, to, Barnes. I tried thanks. to FaceTime you, but you're an Android person. They have this lazy <laughs> river there at that Four Seasons. That's really cool. We were sitting out watching, uh, we were watching the sunset at, at night trying to get the green flash. You know what that is? The very last bit when the sun is almost down. It's called a green flash. In the Caribbean, then you see a green flash if you're lucky. Ooh. We saw it one night out of all the nights we were there. But it's funny because there's this fire pit sitting there and we're hanging out and I, I don't want to say the name of the person I'm about to tell you because I didn't ask them to tell the story. But it's funny when you're at a place like that, the people you meet. So we're sitting around the fire and there was this, you know, good looking couple watching. And, you know, my whole brain is like, who are they? So you're trying to wonder, yeah, well, of course you want to know who they are. Did they look like they were famous? Well, there were, I'll tell you this. We just missed Chris Martin and Dakota Johnson. I, no way. I told you that. They were just there right before us at Naviva. <gasps> Google this place. It's insanely cool. It's like tents in the jungle. There's only 15 of them. And so we're sitting around the um, the pit, you know, and I'm waiting for my in. And Heather's like, don't, don't. Ah. I'm like, uh, I'm going to get there. Like, where are you guys from? Ah, Sonoma. It's like, oh, okay, huh. Sonoma. And I'm like, okay, it's either tech or wine. Because this dude... Uh, yeah, Sonoma. Yeah, this dude looked like he was, a, you know, a high roller. And, and and Heather's looking at me like, just don't Just ask. stop, Barnes. And I'm like, eh, yeah. So what are you, uh, what, what are you doing, uh, Sonoma? Are you in the... Yeah, you went there. I was you like, went there. You in the tech business? He goes, no, nah, wine. And I'm like, mm. I drink wine. Yeah, I just started. And then I eventually got to, well, do you, you know, do you work at a, a vineyard? You kept asking questions? Well, it's just casual talk. And dude drops the name of his company. I'll just say it's one of the biggest wine companies ever. Are you kidding so, me? Here's where Heather got pissed at me. So he says the name, and it's a recognition. Even I know, and I, and I just started drinking wine in the last few years. It was a Cayman? Huh? No, I'm not going to tell you who it was, because I feel bad. I don't want to sell the dude out for being there. Because you never know. Maybe that wasn't his wife. I don't know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to... Sell yeah, but now no. I want to know. Okay. Well, so then, so we're sitting there, so there's like a beat, you know, and he's like, oh, what do y'all do? What do you do? And then when he said the name of his place, I, I, I paused for a minute and I looked up and I go, I think I've heard of that. <laughs> you know, I was being sarcastic. You said, I, I'm talking like household and is name. Heather, is Heather kicking you under the oh, table? The glare just pierced me worse than that, like, eclipse would have. Like, it was so dagger. I'm like, I was kidding. I'm being sarcastic. Was it Camus? No. Camus? I've never even heard of that. I've heard oh, of this well. one. It's one of the ones that would roll off your tongue. But anyway, so I was, I was there in Mexico where it was kind of cold, like a little bit. Now, you were doing are you gonna your- tell me, Are you going to tell me off air? Fram, okay. You know, I, I continually have to give, give stuff to you out of- Here, I'm writing, I'm writing it down. Okay. By the way, Camus is famous, so you should look it up. See if you can read the bottom part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They have like 40 different brands under. So when he said that, were you, I mean, how do you get out of like, what did you say? I just, I I was, I just was joking and said, I think I've heard of it. You know what I mean? Let me be like, if you said, what's your name? Bono. Did he laugh? I'm in a band, you too. He kind of chuckled. I'm in a band, you too. Heather thought that he thought I was being serious. Like, how could you be serious? It was a joke. (sighs) It was a joke. How was your award show? You went to Austin. I'm sure you ate lots of barbecue. Okay. The Salt Lick is going to take my barbecue card away. I was in Austin for a week and never had barbecue. What? I never had time. I was working 16, 18 hour days. I'm so bummed. How was Now I have to go ah. back to Austin just to have barbecue. That makes no sense whatsoever. I know, I know you would be very disappointed in me, but the show was great. And I have to say, I mean, it really was. Kelsey Ballerini, amazing host. I have to say, Jelly Roll, yeah, he swept. This kind of sums up the night. Let's just say, preach, Jelly Roll. Oh, you have something from the show? Oh, yeah. But speaking of chances, 
It's important that I stand up here tonight and represent those that are looking for second chances. The kids back in the Metro Davidson County Juvenile Detention Facility, the kids down here in the Austin Juvenile Detention Facility are watching this tonight. I'm cheering y'all boys on. You can be this guy. You can change. You can turn it around. I promise you can, baby. I once heard a man say that you don't change until the pain to remain the same is greater than the pain it takes to change, and that's what it takes. I love you, Texas. I want to know what energy drink he drinks. It's unbelievable. And then he said he was going to close down 6th Street again. Dude has got (laughs) serious energy, but he does have a good energy. Good energy, and of course, Bunny was with him. Bunny's great. So you wrapped up. Did you see the eclipse? No. You know what? Got home. It was just super cloudy in in, uh, Nashville, so I I never saw it. I thought you were going to be in the air on Monday when that was happening. No, I, I got back just in time, but like all my friends are posting photos. Saw nothing. What yeah. about you? I mean, can you imagine? I know people in Atlanta. Listen, I know people in Atlanta. They were sending me photos. How about the people who made millions on those damn glasses? Oh, yeah. They were selling them everywhere. 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 So where we were, it's just north. It's about 45 minutes north of Puerto Vallarta. So we only had 95%, which seems like a lot. But yeah, it really seemed like a lot. But it, but it was just kind of yellow. It looked like an Instagram filter. Do you know they said they had two million extra people that came to Austin for the weekend just for the eclipse? I saw I saw a friend at the airport coming back from camping. Ooh. See, I'm not that hardcore. For a four-minute event, I don't know <laughs> that I would travel for it. I mean, the hotel rooms were over a 1,000 a night. I know. Like, really? Really banking on the hysteria. But, yeah, we had 95%, and I know, I think my daughter had a lot in Rochester, New York. In Atlanta, I guess it wasn't that dark. I don't know what the percentage was because I wasn't here them but i thought 90 i expected more but even mm-hmm. the even like if you went to the pool or out by the water at the hotel they made you sign a release what do you mean well, sign a release so you're not some knucklehead that looks up at it and then blames yeah because you can get blinded by the light because you're on seriously you know, a property that's owned by a massive corporation absolutely but all the people did you see i wanted to end with this one guy you talk about jelly roll preaching check this guy out this was a weatherman from a small town in Louisiana, but he was... Re- oh, I haven't heard this. He was reporting, I think, from Dallas. Mm-hmm. The guy almost starts crying. Really? I mean, that's who you want as your weatherman. Absolutely. A guy who is brought to tears by an eclipse? <laughs> I mean, this dude, I added a little, a little Pink Floyd under it to give it some feels, but this is a weatherman... <laughs> Reporting from t- from Dallas. Well, we are almost to totality here. The skies have cleared off. I'm going to get emotional. This is just unbelievable. And we're just about to totality here. The next minute, we're looking for the diamond ring. Here we go. It's just about to go total. Look for the... Look for the diamond ring. Oh, my God. Look for it. There it is. That's the diamond ring right there. Oh Look at the diamond ring. Oh, oh Look at that! The it. diamond ring is still. You can still see the diamond ring. Oh, oh, Unbelievable! Oh, my and there it is. Oh, You're looking at the corona of the sun. That's the sun's atmosphere. Unbelievable! <laughs> I'd like to see you like this guy. get that excited tomorrow when you come to work. All oh, right. My- He deserves an Emmy nomination for that delivery. Seriously. The Morning X with Barnes and Leslie.